No knowledge rank up though. The guy doesn't actually get expert rank for quite a while though, so I'm not really sure why it's telling you to reload abuse here. But we have another day off today. Okay, so we're not going to accept this call. But anyway, Signs of Love, for some reason I have like a, um, a weird misheard lyric to it. I keep thinking, okay, there's two misheard lyrics that I have. One part is, um, is Signs of Love over the Chateau of Dreams. And then another part I'll be getting to once we hear it. It might be later though, because we're going to be going out today. Today, it's a good thing we brought back Slime, because we're going to be hanging out with Chie. Though, while we're here, we can talk to you. Ah, sure. I like the way the mountain looks in the distance there. Okay, so let me just put this in perspective. If even you eat random stuff out of the fridge, Narukami won't try your cooking. That really, really says something. Yes, it's almost as if fish have different dietary needs to humans. So, social link availability on holidays tends to vary. I think it mostly depends on the individual day, but Chie is available today. And so is Marie. I am checking to make sure, uh, yes, I do have slime, so I'm all set for that. Okay, everything seems fine. <laughs> yes, you're admiring a random samurai helmet. You clearly have too much time on your hands. No, not really. They're actually pretty cool. Yeah, let's go! Darth Vader's helmet's actually based on uh, a famous samurai helmet. I think it's based on... Um, Ah, oh, what's his name? The one eye the uh, one-eyed one, the one who has who's a flying type specialist in um Pokemon Conquest. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the Shoji are those like paper sliding doors. They're very, very easy to uh, put holes in. This rank up's pretty easy, you just have to save the top option to both of them. It's kind of obvious which options she'll like the best here. I do, I, I kind of question why the guy doesn't rank up Chie before the Shadow Yukiko fight though, because you'd actually think that getting the party member social links up would be more helpful because they give you battle abilities. And this is actually an important thing to note, so the arcs the characters um, go through, they only start with facing their shadow, and that's something that a lot of people also forget about the shadows in this game. The arc continues into their social link. Although, the art book does reveal the social links and the main story had different writers. They probably at least collaborated somewhat. But anyway, I'll actually get into that a bit later, because there are times, especially in Chie's social link, where you can kind of tell there were different writers. Though overall, I do quite like her social link. Even numbered rank, which means she learns a new skill. So, this is the other reason why Chie is a specialist in critical hits. She learns Rebellion by social link, which raises the critical hit rate of one ally. Applying it to your whole team takes way too long, the first will have already worn off by the time you apply it to the whole party, but applying it to Chie herself can be kind of useful, or Yosuke when fighting with gold hands, because his physical skills have high crit rates. And tonight we're gonna study yet again, so also kind of a boring Welcome night. Home.
There we go, knowledge is up to expert. So that should help us do better on our exams. So today is actually kind of a unique day. Today, Yu Narukami himself is going to decide what to do with the day. And here you actually want to select Yasuo Inaba Station. Just for one reason. You don't actually go to the station all that often. Yeah, trains out to the country usually uh, don't run for very long periods of time. If you select buy a drink here... Oh hey look, it's a Pyrojack themed vending machine. You get a tap soda! And yes, that's the only reason why we chose that option, because we get a tap soda. And tap soda is amazing. Yeah, it looks kinda dilapidated. Almost like, um, someone would have to steal money out of vending machines to get the money to refurbish it. Oh no. Could we be in that new horror movie, The Thing That Lives at the Shrine? I mean, it's kind of cute, but you normally don't want to provoke wild foxes. Well, this is just getting even weirder. Actually, one thing lives here. Well, that's certainly a coincidence. That's an even bigger coincidence. Well, as long as you don't eat it, it's probably fine. That is some miracle leaf. You could certainly make a lot of money out of marketing that. Speaking of money, he's now donating to the shrine. I see what's going on here. If you help people, they give money to the shrine. You live at the shrine, therefore the money is kind of your money in a way. Let me guess, you've been doing this every day of your life since you were 12. Let's just hope no bunnies get you on tax evasion. And yes, this is also the fox's plan. I said you can make good money out of marketing this stuff. The fox already has that idea. No, the game is not kidding. This is actually a social link.
The Hermit Arcana represents isolation, but also introspection and soul searching. Its art depicts an old man navigating a cave with only a lantern to guide him. The lantern only illuminates the path immediately before him, rather than the whole journey ahead. The Hermit card is a sign that sometimes it can be healthy to tune out of the wider world and spend some time, well, lost in thought all alone. The personas of this arcana can be a little hard to categorize, but many of them are figures that operate in the shadows hidden from public view. Quite a few of them, like Ippon Datara, Hitokotonushi, and Kurama Tengu, are associated with mountains. Nidhogg resides underneath the world tree at its roots, and Mothman is based on a real-life urban legend, so they all tie into the themes of secrecy and seclusion. In gameplay terms, they tend to focus on status ailments. And speaking of gameplay, let's get to how the Hermit's social link works, because it's very unique. To raise your bomb with the fox, you have to go to the shrine and accept a side quest. After you complete that side quest, you can then report it to the shrine to rank up the Hermit link. It's important to remember that it's the reporting of the quest that counts as a rank up and uses time. Accepting the quest and working on the quest do not use time, so be sure to always accept the next request the day after you rank this link up. There's no reason not to. Some of these requests are a little annoying and have to be done over several days. And the final quest did get a rework in Golden. The remaining nine are the same as they were in the PS2 version. Also, for some reason, ranking from 9 to 10 requires you to spend time with the fox twice. So keep that in mind when scheduling. The Hermit Social Link is somewhat important to gameplay too, as the fox will be an honorary investigation team member from this point onward. At the TV World entrance, you'll be able to talk to the fox to restore SP, but it doesn't come cheap. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. And that's an apt way to describe it, because early on in the game, the costs are ridiculous. It starts at 60 yen per 1 SP, and you can't choose how much you heal, it's all or nothing. The price goes down by 5 yen per SP for every rank, maxing out at only 15 yen per SP. Which is not terrible, but it's going to take a little while for us to get there, so for now, we still need to be very careful with our SP in dungeons. On this note though, one thing that I love about Hurricane Harlan's guide is that it maxes out the fox much earlier than most guides do. I've seen many of them that don't do this until nearly the penultimate dungeon, but this one maxes it around mid-game, which really, really helps. No idea, but they sure are expensive. Yep, that's what you mean. You can have these, but they don't come cheap. So the investigation team now has an animal sidekick, uh, kind of? Teddy's position is already in danger. That was a really weird day. I can just imagine just talking to Tajima about this. Oh yeah, I just went around town, made friends with a fox. The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a 
Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. Oh, I can't believe I forgot about that. Yeah, I mostly know that because of the Pokemon episode from the anime that strangely four kids didn't uh, change at all. So I brought you a present. It took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? Wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. Yay! I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. A voyage you mentioned the fact that that's actually a platypus, which is a real Australian animal and one that's kind of bizarre. It's from this very, very strange family of animals that are only native to Australia egg-laying mammals and the and they have poisonous spurs they're they're really bizarre I think there used to be more of them but a lot of them went extinct a long long time ago don't mention it I thought you might need one soon because this is a high school drama in Japan, and so there will obviously be a swimsuit scene eventually. Well then, let's eat. Okay. Oh, getting to know the family. <laughs> Yeah, Echidna is the other one in that family. Well, maybe, but I, I don't know how safe that river is. Okay, so now we are finally going to start reading beginner fishing. Suppose it makes sense after Dojima just talked about the river. Yeah, that is true. I mean, you have it easy fishing in video games where you just need to wait a few seconds. So, as it's alluding to, the diligence stat is important for fishing. It's, like, one of the only things that diligence matters for. But unfortunately, golden week's over. Back to school. Yo! You riding slowly so you don't crash this time? And become Damn, pained again? This thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way. I mean, either you need a new one or you need to enlist the services of everyone's favorite hero, Bicycle Repairman. I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. It's been a few days. You're still feeling guilty over it? After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. <laughs> Same to you. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Yeah, it seems like their shadows being uh, so entwined with their friendship have really helped them get closer together. Oh, yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. Interesting. People were talking about motorcycles before. We finally have a lunchtime after so long. And Yosuke's approaching us again. Oh, okay. Why is it giving us this tutorial? I'm pretty sure we had, um... Okay, yeah, so I actually already uh, talked about this before, but here we're going to say no. Basically, you always say no to this unless the guide specifically tells you to say hmm. yes, I mean. Because if you do say yes, you're locked into spending time with them. You can't do anything else that day. 
And here's the thing, we actually are gonna spend time with Chie this afternoon, but we're gonna say no to this. Well, she didn't give us the option anyway, but if she did, we would have said no, because then we wouldn't have been able to do a couple of things, like follow up on the girl on the rooftop side quest. Oh, why do the holidays have to end so fast? Well, those were only three-day holidays. And at least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. Sherlock Holmes in the BBC series has his homeless network, Yosuke has his housewife network. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? You know, the moment that you say that, she won't be. Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? We only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh, it's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ugh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke, why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Until this year. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Uh, private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Yukiko, this isn't some weird teacher-student hentai. That doesn't have any ulterior uh, meanings in this case. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. I mean, he did say, well, I mean, I can see why. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Irene has had some strange visitors lately. Really? If he thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry. My hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home. And so, they kept arguing for hours until everyone had went home. Okay, we still have that daycare job, but before we do anything else, we're gonna go to the roof, and Chi is available here, but also the girl on the rooftop. And we need to ask her about her hobbies again. So, you like animals, and you like reading, that's noted. And before we talk to Chie, we're going to go into town. Because there's actually quite a few things we can do today. The first thing we can do is we can go to the bookstore. And buy off today and office work manual. Yeah, we have to read it for the trophy. <laughs> and while we're here, we're going to also visit the shrine. And while we're at the shrine, we can visit these two, because they're kind of funny. The old man here has something new for us, now that we've uh, helped his leg pain. Or, you know, praise a certain fox. This is actually kind of annoying, it means you can't do this on rainy nights, when often there isn't a lot else to do. So yes, we now have access to Relationship Fortunes. 
you get a random, like, either small, medium, or great blessing when you do this. And, uh, yeah, as it says here, spending time with them directly obviously is better. Drawing fortunes is kind of an emergency last resort option, but the good news is it's available at night. Oh, I actually have one of these. You can get more bugs from this guy, and you can give them uh, at the pub to get more breadcrumbs, but we might want to keep our bugs, because they'll be useful for stuff later. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to accept the fox's next quest. As I said during the bio, accepting quest does not use time. There's no reason not to accept the request, so they count as quests on our list. This one is I Wish for Love. Because every RPG, or not even RPG, sometimes like non RPGs like Wind Waker, pretty much a lot of games with side quests have to have the obligatory matchmaker side quest. There's, there's been a, there have been a lot of interesting ones in uh, a lot of video games. The one from, um, wow, there's actually two of them in, um, in Skyward Sword, and they're both kind of awkward, but, um, so this girl right here is the one we're looking for, and she has a grey quest icon because we've technically already accepted her quest, even though we haven't actually met her. By talking to her... Yes, for once, he's not the recipient of a love letter. Maybe his natural charisma just somehow compelled her to put it in his shoebox. So we can't do anything more with this quest now. A lot of the Fox's requests take multiple days to complete. Okay, so apparently something will happen if we go to the Velvet Room today, but we can probably do that at any time. Let's spend time with Chie. We have slime, relationship's gonna become closer soon. The whole, like, we have slime sounds really weird, but oh well. Back down at the river. So we are actually following up on our promise to hang out with Nanako more. Yo. She is teaching us how to kick things very, very hard. Hmm. Um, <laughs> we can't exactly say it, but I mean, considering shadows come from all humanity, this is technically true. Whenever someone asks, like, where something is, it's always directly in the back, and I think the grasshopper is just not moving while she's still animating, and that makes it really creepy. <laughs> yeah, that's a little awkward looking. She's actually fine around a lot of things. She She's interesting, let's just say. So this right here is kind of interesting because this is the best option, but we don't have enough courage for it. And the second best option is actually this one. And that might seem very, very strange to a lot of people, but it's actually kind of part of Chie's character that 
she does like being called feminine sometimes, and it was part of her whole insecurity that kind of led to her shadow, is that she feels like no one really treats her like a girl because she's so tomboyish. It's something that's definitely a lot more of a thing in Japan than in the West. Unfortunately, um, girls are often shamed for having non-traditionally feminine interests. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. Japanese gender role issues is something this game will be going into very heavily later on. So it does feel a little awkward that you kind of have to conform to them for the yeah. most points for this one. But, again, it is kind of an aspect of Chie. And it does play into her insecurities. I kind of partly chalk it up to the social links and the main story having different writers, though. Because, like, I do personally think it's kind of sexist. Well, very sexist to think that girls have to be afraid of bugs and stuff. But, I mean, admittedly, Bug does resist fighting, so maybe Chie has a point. Also, speaking of her having a point, in Australia, kids are quite rightly taught to be afraid of bugs because we have some very dangerous spiders. They're not nearly as common as most people think they are, but just to be safe, a lot of kids are taught, like, stay away from spiders, especially large ones. Or, you know, small ones with red stripes, because we have... It's the red back and the funnel web are the two ones that you want to watch out for. But in general, they're really not that dangerous unless you actively go out of your way to kill them. They'll usually leave you alone if you don't, you know, if you aren't an idiot, basically. But you know, is an idiot? Everyone who goes up against Chie now, because she has her follow-up attack, and it's something very special. We'll be seeing that when we next go into the TV world. I kind of want to save it as a surprise until then, because if you don't know what it is, it's, it's great. So tonight is actually pretty special, because we're going to talk to Uncle hey. Dojima. End the conversation. Now let's talk to him. Hmm. We know that music. I think we can all tell what's going to happen now. Ah, uh, yes. Awkward family dinner conversations. I guess it is kind of fun. I see. Now, this just reminds me, though, like, I'm, ah, uh, back when I was at, at university, I would always dread the, 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 the line of conversation from, you know, people I hadn't seen in a while that was, how's uni? That was always the clear sign that the person had nothing significant to talk about. But, yeah, Dojima himself is, uh, kind of awkward. Well, I mean, there were murders here recently. Oh, by the way. Yep, another courage locked option. I'll be showing those at the end of the video. Because I have recorded those from a new game plus. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, that's kind of true. And he is a detective, so... However, Nanako is here to defuse the tension. But... Yes, that's what you say to witnesses in interrogation rooms all the time. <sighs> yeah, she certainly has. I mean, I can understand your concerns.
The Hierophant is a word that nowadays is almost never used outside of the tarot arcana, but it refers to a male priest, and in some tarot decks it's called the Pope. The Hierophant is a general symbol of education, authority, tradition, and obedience to the rules. It's also associated with mentors and learning from someone older than yourself, which is why most characters who represent this arcana in the series are older than the protagonist. It's put into context by the arcana that follows it, and since we won't be getting to this one for a little while, I'll just say this now, it's lovers, which represents choice. The Hierophant can thus be seen as observing the belief systems of others before an individual decides which elements of those they want to follow in their own life. Personas of this arcana are typically mythological beings associated with wisdom and knowledge. Or in the case of Unicorn and Cerberus, they're beings that are often depicted as guardian entities. The Hierophant's social link is represented by Ryotaro Dojima, the protagonist's uncle. This one has a lot of similarities to Nanako's social link, Justice, in that it's only available at night and is pretty awkward to rank up. Just like Justice, several ranks of this arcana are gated off by the protagonist's expression stats, though you don't need as high of a rank to finish this one. It doesn't require as many points to rank up as Justice does, but a lot of its best options early on are gated off by your Courage stat, so it can also require a lot of spend time events on a first playthrough. The way Hierophant's availability works is unique. Dojima is only available to hang out with when you have completed the current dungeon. Otherwise, he'll be too busy investigating the kidnappings. So you might think from now on it's a good idea to complete dungeons as quickly as possible to maximize your Hierophant time. It's a bit of a double-edged sword though because, as I said in the Justice bio, whenever he's available, Nanako is not available. Usually once he's home, the Knights of the Week are split roughly evenly between Hierophant and Justice but sometimes it might be advantageous to have more access to justice, so just keep that in mind. Like Nanako, there are a few story scenes that give you points with Dojima, so keeping a Hierophant persona with you is often a good idea. It's not nearly as frequent as justice bonus points though. And while I've said this during gameplay, I guess it's good to reiterate it here. Whenever Dojima is home, you're not allowed to go out at night unless you have a night part-time job, which you likely won't have this early in the game. And since you really, really need a matching persona whenever you interact with Dojima, make sure you pick up a Hierophant one from the Velvet Room during the day. Guess it's his job to make sure it stays a good town. Night. 